What's going on everyone? Marcus Reels here. Today I'll be taking you guys through my speed and agility movement training session. It's going to work footwork, hips, change of direction, everything you need to take your performance and skills to that next level. Only thing you're going to have to do is pay attention to the technique and give it your all. Now as always, let's dominate the day. You won't need no type of equipment or supplies other than cones or open space. So other than that, let's get to talking. Let's get to work. All right, so for the first drill we got, is my rapid response warm up. All right, so this is what I like doing before we get into the speed and agility session. Make sure our body is right, work a little footwork, warm that body up and warm up that, activate that nervous system so we can get going, all right? So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go icky shuffle over the line. So we're here, boom, icky shuffle, icky shuffle, staying nice and low, moving our arms. As soon as we get here, we're planting off this right foot. Boom, sprinting five yards, all right? Sprinting five yards. So once again, this is a warm up. So first couple reps, we want it nice and smooth. Next couple reps, we're gonna speak, pick, pick up the pace, all right? So each and every rep, wanna pick up the pace. Remember for each of these drills, we're doing two reps, working both sides, all right? So rep number one, we got icky shuffle in place, so five yard sprint, and go. <coughs> now we got rep number two, the same thing. Now we're gonna flip directions, all right? So now we'll be starting on this right side. As soon as we get to the end, left foot plant, opening up, sprint through the five. Now it's one thing to pay attention to. We gotta work change of direction today. So as soon as we get this plant foot here, this foot toe has to lead to our target, all right? So make sure we get this toe and hip around at a 90, sprinting forward. We don't wanna be here. We don't wanna be here, that's gonna throw off our path, all right? When it comes to change of direction, we gotta be very precise, all right? So work on pointing that lead foot to the direction we wanna go. As always, I'm a big advocate. I'm gonna take our time through the warm up. Why rush through a warm up, right? Warm up is for our body to warm up. Take our time, nice and easy, and we'll get going to the next rep. Notice how every drill we're doing this, I'm keeping the low pad level. And when it's time to break, I'm breaking out low, driving through five yards. And one thing to pay attention to is slow, start slow, then speed up your reps slowly, all right? So we don't need to start fast feet blazing through these drills. Once again, this is a warm up. There's a purpose for every drill that I teach you guys. So let's work it. Gotta train smart. Good, now we're back to the top. Now steady the icky shuffle. Now we're gonna work single leg stabs. All right, so we're gonna stay on this left side of the line. Boom, and we're here. Boom, stab, 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 stab. Same thing, plant drive. Making sure we stay low, move our arms. As Soon as we drive out, stay low, leaf foot pointing to that cone, all right? No wasted steps, no wasted movements, all right? Go. <laughs> There we go. Last two drills, we got two more drills here. Next, we're going single leg pogos. Now for this drill, we wanna go half speed 50% until we get to the transition, then we wanna go 100%. So one thing, I'm gonna start on this right foot, slight bend in the knee, and we're gonna hop over the line, nice and easy, staying low. As Soon as we get to the end here, plant and break. All right, biggest thing here, slight bend in the knee. We don't wanna jump with a straight leg, if we can't move our arms, our legs won't move. Most importantly, go 50%. And go. There we go. Go ahead and walk it back. Now we're gonna switch sides. Now we're jumping on that left leg now. And go. All right, last and final drill we got. We're gonna wake up those hips. Once again, change the direction. You gotta have loose, fluid hips. This is gonna get us ready for that. So this is called base runs into base rotations. So we're gonna start off here and go. Boom, 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 boom. Sprint out, all right? So once again, this is a patient drill, all right? We don't wanna go full speed. We wanna make sure we're flipping our hips while keeping the shoulders square. All right, same thing, base runs into the base rotations here, keeping those shoulders square. Weights on the ball of our foot here. All the hips are doing the work. 
All right, that completes the rapid response warm up. Now it's time to get into the drill work and get better. Let's work. All right, now to get into the drill work. So the first drill we got is our sprint shuffle sprint, right? This is really gonna work our change of direction, specifically working linear to lateral speed, maintaining that speed through acceleration and deceleration space while gaining ground up the field, which is gonna help all athletes. So what we're gonna do is start here on this right side. Doesn't matter what foot up, left or right foot up. Boom, sprint here, shuffle, sprint, shuffle, finish through. All right, so we're working about, uh, about 15 to 20 yards here. Once again, these drills, we're working technique here, and this isn't necessarily condi conditioning, it's working change of direction, right? So we don't wanna go too far and put too much stress and volume on the body, all right? Big important keys here, stay low, keep the arms moving, maintain your speed when we're shuffling, make sure our shoulders are staying squared and we're acceleration through the cone, finishing strong. We're working two reps each side, so two on the right, two on the left. There we go. Now, if you guys notice, I was able to maintain my speed and keep gaining ground, even though I was working linear or lateral. That's one of the big things that separate average athletes to elite athletes. So work this drill. If you need to slow it down, slow it down, go 50%. At the end of the day, we want good technique and great reps. Now we're going into the second set, but now we're gonna go to the opposite side, all right? So two reps on the right, now we're working two reps on the left. There you go, nice easy jog back. Nice easy jog back. Good, that completes the first exercise. Now moving on to the second exercise. For the next drill, now we're working S runs. Now what this is working is pretty much maintaining that acceleration, even though we're slightly changing direction, right? In most sports, we're never gonna go in a straight line. We're gonna have to dodge defenders, offenders, traffic. We're gonna have to weave and maintain that speed in order to make the play or get to where we need to be on our field to be in great position. This is why we're working S runs right here. So brief explanation here. We're gonna start right here and just like an S, we're gonna run in that S shape Big important thing, keep your arms moving, maintain that body control, hug the corners, right? And we wanna keep our arms moving and finish all the way through. So quick demo here, set, go. Biggest takeaway here is we wanna maintain that speed, right? Those who can weave, bob and weave down the field and maintain that speed is gonna be in great position to make those plays and get to where you need to be on the field, which is why we're working this drill, which is why if you're an athlete, you gotta be working this, these type of drills, all right? So let's go ahead and work it. Rep number one here, hugging the corners, S runs, S runs. Go. <coughs> go go ahead and jog it back jog it back hug those corners maintain that speed keep those arms moving also working on that body control let's work here let's work <coughs> So that completes this drill. Time to move on to the next. Remember, we have four reps total. Let's work. For the next drill, we're gonna work our crossover run. What this is gonna really work is our hips. That is key when it comes to change of direction, all right? Because we can only run straight or stay squared for a certain amount of time. Once the defender or offender starts to get upfield, we're gonna have to crossover run with them, right? So we gotta make sure we're comfortable in that crossover run position. Big takeaways here is, we're gonna start here. We start low, we stay low, right? When we cross over run, we don't wanna cross over a run high. Reason why is we're not gonna go on a straight line in a real, we're gonna be here, boom, we might have to come back here, boom, come back here. Reason why we stay low is, is that's how we change direction and plant and break efficiently and easier than staying up high. Because if we're up high and it comes time, boom, we're falling over or we're on ESPN. We don't want to get on ESPN, getting touched down on, or whatever sport you play, getting a goal on, or whatever. So, big thing here, 
most drills we all do stay low start low stay low all right so we're just going to work our crossover run here starting low here nice and easy and go crossover run crossover run crossover run <coughs> Now we're working rep number two, same thing. We're gonna switch sides now. So at first I was leading with that right foot. Now we're gonna lead with that left foot. Same exact thing, crossover run. All right, that completes this drill. On to the last and final drill. Let's work. For the last and final drill, we're gonna work our shuffle open drill. All right, this is gonna put everything that we've been doing together. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna start here. We're gonna shuffle, stay in square. As soon as we get here, turn and open. That's it. Turn and open, turn and open. Important things here is staying low, staying squared when we're shuffling. Boom, boom, boom. As soon as we get here, remember what I talked about that lead foot in the beginning. Point that lead foot to that high angle. Turn your head, stay low, and drive out, all right? Turn your head and drive out, all right? all right everyone so that completes today's workout all right really basic intro to change the direction right that's really going to help you sail to that next level don't forget to subscribe comment your questions below let's keep working man hey let's work